Hi everybody, it's Sam from Cavi and today we're going to be making some treats for guinea pigs specifically only using four ingredients and hopefully I will talk you through it really nicely in detail as much as I can be so you'll have to bear with me on that one <laughs> So this obviously is not my kitchen, so I can't really cook here. What we'll do is we're gonna cut in between and hopefully, providing I edit this well, um, it will be super slick and easy to follow. Um, so you'll just have to, I'll just have to trust my editing self. Let's all pray for my editing future self that I will do this okay for the video and for the guinea pigs. Okay, thank you. So let's dive in. <laughs> what will you need for this video? So we're gonna need four ingredients, like I said before, this one's a super easy one. So what I have here, I've got one cup of Oxbow Critical Care. Uh, this can actually be replaced with grounded guinea pig pellets or hay crumbs that you'll find at the bottom of the bag. Um, I'm just gonna go with this one for this particular video, but you can replace it with those two options. Number two is one apple, and I will grate this one. Number three is one carrot, and that is also gonna be grated. Number four, three tablespoons of oat flakes. That is it for all the ingredients that you will need, so let's start getting messy. <laughs> So once you've got all the ingredients together, this is actually gonna be enough for two treats, hopefully. If you think that you don't have enough, don't worry, you can just half the amount that's needed, whatever you've got in the house. The good thing about this particular recipe is that you can actually store the treats in the fridge up to three days after you've baked them. Alternatives for this part. So you can actually use um, chopped parsley, cilantro, basil. Uh, you can also use other pieces of fresh or dried fruits or vegetables but just remember to make sure that they are safe and suitable for your guinea pig. So do a little bit of research too if you can. So once you've got all the ingredients, let's mix them all in together. Um, it's quite dry thing, so we're gonna add a little bit of water just to add a bit of consistency that it can actually um, mix together. If you don't wanna use water here, you can replace it with applesauce, providing it has no added sugar or mashed bananas. It should be nice and soft, the consistency all together, and then you can actually squeeze it, take shape of it, and you can put it into the mold. I've gone for a particular circular mould this time. Don't forget from this point to make a hole for the string or the holder that you're going to be putting it into the cage with. Um, I can't tell you how many times um, I've seen people make this and not put the hole in so it's difficult to place into the cage. So at this point now, let's make a hole for the treats. Cool, so now it's like this. We're gonna bake for 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark four. I promise you it's that easy. And yes, I also still have all the washing up to do as well. So treats aren't really a necessity, but they do create a really nice bonding experience with your guinea pigs. And whilst they're eating, you have the little pride of being like, oh, I made them that and they're enjoying it. So <laughs> that's something to think about too. Remember that the bulk of your guinea pig diet should always be unlimited grass and hay and nutritionally complete healthy guinea pig food with a stabilized vitamin C. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as the guinea pigs enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you've made anything quite similar or if you've got a different kind of recipe. Um, it'd be really nice to just kind of share some ideas that we have as a guinea pig community. But thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, give us a like, follow us on Insta. I'll leave a description for our website in the uh, description. I'll leave our website in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out too. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.